you introduce yourself? I am James and I go to IGS and I am in Year 7. And the uniform you have to wear, tell me about it. Uh, the uniform, well, one of the main things in my uniform, I have to wear a blazer, which you can see, shirts, uh, trousers usually for boys, you can wear the IGS skirts for girls and PE, but usually they wear either tights or trousers. And boys, you can also wear shorts. And also, if if you're in our year seven, which will be moving up to year eight, we have red ties. And another thing is you have to keep the crest showing, and it can't go up like to the where the knot is. Otherwise, you can get negatives for that. Also, you have to keep your shirt tucked in because that's something else that you can get negatives for. What colour tie will the New Year 7s be? Uh, the New Year 7s will be green tie. And how about hair? Are there any rules for colour? Uh, the only rule there is for hair, as you said, was colour. You cannot dye your hair. And what about makeup? Uh, no makeup allowed, but you are allowed earrings, but they just can be studs. So the school day, what time does your school day start? The school day starts at uh, 8.20. And how long is it for a single period? A single period is 50 minutes. Okay, right. And are most lessons single period? Uh, yes, most lessons are single period. What time does the day finish? The day finishes uh, on normal days other than Wednesdays, it finishes at 3 o'clock. But on Wednesdays, it finishes at 2.30. Because in the morning, you have PBT. What happens when you're late? Uh, when you're late, usually what will happen is you will get a late mark but if you're very late you will sometimes get negatives. What are negatives? Negatives are the system that I just use like a point system where you can get positives for doing good things and negatives for doing bad things. Do your parents get to know about them? Uh, if your parents sign into the class charts app which is where like positives and negatives are run they will be able to see <coughs> what uh, you are on like if you've got how many positives and how many negatives and also whether or not you've got detentions or isolations. So do you have to get a certain number of negatives to get a detention? Uh, you need to get as far as I'm aware three negatives in a week to get a detention. Does that happen in school time or after school? It happens after school or you can get break time detentions. And. Um, so if we go on to the iPad then that you've got on your uh, iPad is what we usually use to do all of our work on. So like you can like have Shobi class charts, might have like Microsoft Word and all those types of things. So it's one of the main resources we use for learning at IGS. And does everybody have one? Everyone has an iPad, yes. And do you do you take it with you everywhere yeah, and you home as well? Yeah. yeah. Is homework set on the iPad? Uh, homework is set on class charts in the homework section. And do teachers give you feedback on the iPad as well? Uh, teachers, yes, they can give you feedback. As at the moment we're using Shobi a lot. That's how the teacher is teaching us during quarantine, and they will give feedback on iPads or usually if you're at school they will give feedback in person or in your book. So do you have books as well or do you record everything on your iPad? You have books as well, you have lots of books. But one of the important things is on, on your iPad you have a timetable which you can relate to. You also get given a timetable at the start of the year so then you can pack everything that you need the start of the day. So if you've got PE, you'll be told what PE lessons you have for that term and then you'll have to pack that PE kit for that day. Is your bag very heavy? Uh, my bag is pretty heavy because I don't change my books out because I'm a bit lazy. But I thought you got a locker. You do have a locker if your parents buy it via 
the app. I don't know, I think it's called Parent Pay. Does everybody get one then if they pay for it? Yes, everyone will get one if you pay for it. Do you use your locker then? I do use my locker when I want to store books sometimes if my, if my bag's too full. Or PE kit? Uh, yes, you can also use it for that. Anything you want to store in there you can. Um, talking about PE, do boys and girls do PE together? Uh, no, boys and girls do not do PE together. They are split into different sex groups. Um, and do you do it all at IGS itself? Uh, no, sometimes it's really fun, but you get to ride a bus down to Ben Ridding Hockey Club. And I think it's Ben Ridding Cricket Club as well. And do you go on the AstroTurf down there? Uh, yes, you're able to go onto the AstroTurf and also the field. And how about swimming? Uh, swimming, if you get that in as one of your PE lessons, you get to do that in the Ilkleido pool, in non Ilkleido pool, at the IGS pool, which is really fun, but I've sadly not been able to do it due to quarantine. Uh, which are the best lessons in your opinion? In my opinion, the best lessons are food tech, DT, science and maths. Is it really good having classrooms for those? What it do? is really good because if you come from a one for men to primary school, usually you don't have like certain classrooms for different subjects. So it's really good to be able to go into like a custom like DT room and then a custom food day room where they've got ovens and stoves and everything. Does it make learning much easier? It makes learning much easier for those lessons, but also unless you go to a private school, you most likely won't be doing those lessons. Um, what about homework? Homework, you will usually be set on class charts. A task will usually reign from 10 minutes to an hour to possibly two hours. Do you get homework in all subjects every week? You don't get them in all subjects every week because some subjects you only have once every two weeks but most of the time you get set homework every two to three lessons. So you have a two week timetable? Yes, you have a two week time. We have week A and week B. So some lessons you only get once every two weeks? Yes, that's correct. How many subjects are you learning, do you know? I don't know off the top of my head, but there's quite a lot. <laughs> what about exams? Exams, you don't really have to worry about them at the start. You really don't until like your A-levels, but you do have the odd checkpoint assessment every so often. And if you get into like middle set maths or top set maths or whichever one you get put in, you will then get given tests throughout the years and if you're getting really good marks you might go up a set and, but if you're getting not so great marks you might go down a set to be able to help you learn better because you're obviously struggling. So there's middle, top and bottom math sets, are there any other sets for any other subject? Uh, no, in year 7 you're only uh, streamed on maths. And tell me about the bands, what, what, what are they? I've heard about the bands. Uh, the bands are I, G and S, they are basically like if you have like a house system or like a group system in primary school, they are basically like that, so you're like in a, like you're different groups throughout school. And what do you do with your band, what, what lessons do you do? Uh, you like PE, it won't be every year, but in year 7 you will do PE with your bands usually. So you, you, you're closer with your band than other forms? Yes, that is correct. Do you know how many forms there are across Year 7? Uh, in this Year 7, I think we've got more than usual. I think we have either four or five. Forms or...? Forms, yeah. Oh, right. Wow, that's a lot. Right, how about food? Tell me about the food uh, in the... Food for the primary school that we came from wasn't the world's best. But now I'm really happy with the food that you've got because you've got a massive variety of food. And do you get food at break time as well? Uh, yes, you are able to get like a sausage roll or some pizza or not pizza, like a sausage roll or some like a panini, not panini, uh, like a bagel or something like that. And in the canteen at lunchtime, is there lots of choice? Uh, there's lots of choice. I so can go for pasta pots like pizza and paninis, 
or the main section which changes quite a lot. Do they cater for vegetarian and vegan? Uh, yes, they do cater for all those types of things. And what happens about paying for it? Uh, paying for it is you use your thumb, which you get, or everyone gets your thumb done at the start of the year, unless your parents or you decide you do not want to use thumb, whereas you get a code. But now after the coronavirus pandemic, I reckon we all of us will probably be using codes because then you won't be putting your thumb on everything and spreading the virus. And what does that code mean? The code or the fund print means it's linked to your account on parent pay, which is where your parent puts money in for your school dinners unless you're having packed lunches. So there's no money in the canteen? Uh, there's no money used, no. How long is a lunch break? A lunch break, I think, is uh, 45 minutes. And you get to go outside? Uh, you get to go outside, yeah. Do you all go together with the Year 7s or uh, with every other there's year? There's different sections to the courts, like Year 7 have the bottom court and there's Year 8 and Year 9 courts and then there's other places for different year groups. Okay, and do you get an afternoon break as well? Uh, no, you do not. You just get the morning and lunchtime break. Do you know how long the morning break is? I think the morning break is 20 minutes. Go back, travel back to your first day at IGS, um, what was it like? It was pretty scary at first because as you know there's, there's going to be there's over a thousand people there so you feel very small because there's so many other people around you and it's very easy to get lost and there's also if you're not the most, if you're not the highest person in your year there's lots of people much taller than you there, so you feel like really small and enclosed in. Do you find it easy to find your way around at first? I feel like after the first one to two weeks you really get to know your way around. And what happens if you do get lost? If you do get lost in the first two to in the first two weeks, they don't you don't usually get in trouble because those first two weeks are usually where you're learning the school because it's a big site. Do people help you, the other students? Uh, yes, people help you, but you should often ask the old year groups. Okay. And what about on the corridors? Do people barge into each other or is there a system? Uh, you usually have to stick to the left side, but not always everyone abides by it because the corridor might be really crowded and you're just getting pushed into the other side. Okay, and last but not least, what about clubs? Oh, there's hundreds of clubs going on at IGS during lunch times and after schools and before schools. And um, they range from anything from art to yeah. drama. You can get dodgeball, art, drama, computing, light, lighting, like backstage, just drama, music. There's there's loads. Um, and they, they're before and after uh, after school and during school yeah, breaks that is things correct. as well. Good. Is there anything else that you want to mention? Uh, not really. I feel like we've covered everything. And good luck for all you Year 7s and moving up to IGS this year. Thank you. Bye.